Hi, I'm Parker, and today I am going to be reviewing my tripod. So, as you can see, this is the bag it comes in. Um, when I ordered it, I got a free case because it didn't say anything about the case. When I looked it up on Amazon... And I use my iPad Mini to film, so I also got an iPad Mini mount to screw on to the tripod, which I will show you later. So for now, let's just unzip this and see what's inside. So here is the tripod, and as you can see, on one of the legs it says Amazon Basics. I ordered it from Amazon Prime, but it says Amazon Basics. I'm guessing that Amazon Basics sent it to Amazon Prime, and Amazon Prime shipped it to me. That's what I'm guessing. So anyway, yeah, there's that. And when you get it, this part is folded. So there's a little handle over here. So you can just turn it like that. And now I am going to be reviewing it. So here is the tripod. And as you can see, it is pretty small, but it can get very big. So anyway, yeah, let's get started on showing you how big it can get. So when you have it on the smallest size... It looks like it's a quad pod instead of tripod because tri means three. So tripod means like three legs. So four is quad. So anyway, yeah. But that's actually not a fourth leg. So what you can do is see these clips. You just undo those. Well, do the top ones first because the bottom ones won't work unless you do the top ones first. So then you just get the middle leg that looks like it has four legs and just pull on it. And then it gets way bigger. So then, as you can see, you just clip them in. I'll do that for all four sides. Well, all three. Now, as you can see, it is much bigger, and now also, you can see that this is not a fourth leg. So anyway, let's see how big this thing can really get. Like, this is the highest height with the clips. It can get higher than what I'm about to do. That's right. It can get very tall. So once again, I'm just going to do that. Sorry about that. So as you can see, I sort of really need a tripod to film with because it's all wobbly when I hold it. So anyway... This is huge, but this isn't as tall as it can get. You just have to unfold this. 
and then you screw it and then it can get really really high so as you can see I'm at like the back of the room and I can't even get the whole thing in one shot so anyway now I am going to be showing you the mount so yeah like I said now I am going to be reviewing the mount for the iPad mini so when I opened it up there was a bag with four really small squares but since I already have put it together these are just some extra pieces they gave me and then we have some instructions this is how to put in those little squares I was just talking about and this is how you slide in the things that hold the iPad mini in and this isn't just for the iPad mini I believe that you can use this mount for a tripod for the Kindle Fire and I'm not positive about this one, but I'm pretty sure the Nexus 7. So, yeah. I'm not sure about the Nexus 7, but I'm sure about the iPad Mini and the Kindle Fire. So, anyway, here is the mount. So, as you can see, it is on a ball joint. And as you can see, it has the Archon logo. And over here, you're probably thinking, there's no way this can hold an iPad mini. But it actually can. Because you can stretch this out. So anyway, now I am just going to attach this to the tripod. And yeah. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, we have the mounting piece over here. We have two screws. We have this screw that's a little wobbly. And that's because we are going to attach the iPad mini mount to that. And there's also a little spring one. So you press down on it and it just goes back up. And I believe that is for, like, if you're putting on, like, a professional camera, like, let's say, a Canon camera, that's what you would use it for. You would screw this on, and then to make it secure, there's a second hole, and it goes there. So, anyway, now let's screw this on. So, what you do is there's this hole down here as you can see and what you do is you just put it on that hole and then screw it's kind of hard to do because there's that springy thing so you basically just keep on screwing until it's really secure So anyway, yeah, now this is professionally, well, very secure. So anyway, now I am just going to put my iPad mini on here, which I am filming with right now. And I am going to show you the angle that the tripod gives you when you attach the mount. So here it is attached to the tripod. So I thought I would give you an example of showing you the Minecraft, my Minecraft collection for the thing to mainly capture. So anyway, as you can see, it's on a ball joint. So you can tilt it all the way around. 
I know that it's probably upside down right now. No, it's not. So anyway, that stick that you just saw when I was tilting it all the way around, if you hold on to that, then as you can see, you can like make it go really far down and get like side shots like that. Or go like all the way to there. So anyway, yeah, that was my tripod review. So anyway, please like and subscribe to this video. And I will see you all later. Bye.